church says amen. 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 You may be seated. Amen. I begin to read here in the tenth. Amen. Verse how that Paul began to warn them. Amen. As they started out on a journey. Amen. How many realizes tonight that we started out on a journey? We're heading somewhere. A lot of folks feel like. Amen. That when they die, that's all there is. There's nothing else, amen. I've been the grave is the end of it. But I want to let you know tonight there's two destinations. Amen. One is hell. Amen. And the other is heaven. And we're going somewhere tonight, church. Amen. And we need to give heed. Amen. How do we travel in this life? Because how do we listen to the warnings of God? It's going to determine tonight. Amen. Whether we end up. Amen. Yeah. On our journey. Amen. Or if we fall by the wayside. But I'm glad tonight that we've got a God in heaven that's concerned that you and I both that wants to make sure that we make it and that we do not fall by the wayside. And the Lord be the God that we're not destroyed by the enemy. And then we reach our destination tonight. Amen. I'm saying that God was concerned about these people. He spoke to the man of God. I don't warn them. You better not take this journey. I perceive. I posit that this voyage is going to bring much harm. And if you're here tonight and you don't know Jesus Christ and the free part of sin, I want to let you know, amen, that you're in trouble. Amen, that you're alive. Amen, there's going to be many heartaches. Because there's only one place, amen, of safety tonight, and that is in the name of Jesus. For the Bible said, in the name of the Lord is a strong tower, and the righteous run into it, and they're safe. But like the men that was on the ship, and I think for the reason, in the way that the world is saying, I rather than the men of God. But the Bible said, how shall we escape? If we neglect so great a salvation, I think there's coming an accounting day. Amen. We're going to have to give an account for every time that we sit in the house of God. And God is trying to warn us and a plea and a wrath to come. Amen. Now, folks, I'm telling you, amen, we're going somewhere. I don't know about you, but I've made it in my mind. Amen. He said, if you need any reason with Christ, I've your affections and on things above and not on things of the earth. And then I'm going to make it to heaven. And then the only way to make it is to be led by the Spirit of God today. Oh, if you pray tonight, I believe God. Amen. It's going to do something here. Amen. I'm going to give you a word of encouragement. Amen. I'm going to say it. As many as you're led by the Spirit. They are the sons of God. Amen. In other words, we've got to submit ourselves to the leading of the Spirit of God. Amen. Yeah. Don't listen to the word. Because we quoted it the other night. Amen. Uh, Proverbs 14 and 12. Amen. There is a way that sin is right into a man. Oh, but the end of the earth. Oh, the wings of death. Amen. A lot of folks think they've got it figured out. I'm going to carry it. But they don't have a clue. Because when they try it, and they're on their own, they're going to find out they'll hold it in time. But when you lift your head under the altar and to finish your mortality, and the Lord and the God will find out and that God will enable you amen, to get there. Amen. You hear me? Oh, I pass up the warning of God tonight. Amen. Repent. I believe it's true. to the word, but uh, this God, uh, he ain't going to drag you down to the 
preach and preach and preach and preach and Paul tried to warn him. Hey, I bet they suddenly had uh, when they least expected it. Hey, I bet they a storm. Hey, how long would they get to shake their load? Hey, and then that's how it is. Hey, have they ever heard that statement? Hey, oh, you ever hear about Bobby? Hey, he was cut down in the prime of his life. Hey, uh, what does that mean, preacher? Hey, in other words, sudden destruction. Hey, hey, man, come upon him when he least expected it. Hey, and then see the Bible says, hey, in the last day, they'll say peace. Hey, destruction. I come up upon them. Amen. Let's prevail upon a woman. I will I tell you, you better run to the Calvary. You've got the opportunity. Amen. You've got no promise in the morning. I want to promise you to have this Jesus died for you. And it's time now. I'm coming to me. Oh, ye of the believer and are heavy laden. And I'll give you a ready. See, it's a 
this little time before trouble comes. Amen. And I always mean struck down in the prime of their life. I'm not long after. Amen. What happened? Amen. A tent just went. Amen. A rose. Amen. And when the ship was called, and they could not bear up, we let it run. I think some folks have gotten their own soul on Brother Jack. I, they can't even control their yeah. life anymore. I, I, they're just trying to ride it out. I, I, they're trying to ride it out. I, I, I see him and put the going into the back. I preach on what they say. I, I, but I've got some things going on in my life. I, I just can't get control of right now. I, I, but when it settles down, I, and I can make sense of things, I, I feel it only then. I, amen. I'll come and I'll get saved. I, I'll just see if they'll listen. I, Jesus, 
uh, before you've ever heard the word sickness, uh, have you got a promise, uh, amen, that you're going to make it to the other side, uh, amen, uh, oh, you may get in a storm, uh, I told you last night, he didn't promise uh, uh, that the gates of hell wouldn't come against you, uh, I just said he promised uh, uh, they shall not prevail, uh, amen, and he'll come right in a mystical situation, uh, amen, and he said, oh, uh, and God has given me all them that sell with me, uh, he said, wherefore, serves me a good cheer, uh, Joy, I was out of peace, I was out of the Bible, sitting on this 